Nimbus. The space gate to Dark World is charged up and now open. Welcome back, X, YouTube, Twitch. It's your boy KDZ bringing you guys another Marshall Watch. And again, guys, who do all we do this video? Just because that we use past some trading card games. I love talking about trading card games. I want to continue to build a community that has the same love and passion for admiring all those gorgeous floor windows as I do. And with that, let's get into it. Uh, left off, shoot, it wasn't even yesterday. Um, last time was I here, was it Wednesday? I don't even remember. Uh, we were talking about the mana sources, though, the staples and, and Magic the Gathering. Playing at IRL, not just on, you know, MTG Arena. And just how, like, all of the the significant land bases are money. Like, base price, and their base price out of, like, 10 bucks. Like I said, rightfully so. They are rares, you know, in the respective card game and whatnot. We're going to finish our trip down memory lane. We was on 2016. We're going to hark, harken back to that um, here soon. Uh, like I said, definitely want to catch up. Like I said, after that long week of not really looking at uh, the TCG market at all, definitely want to catch back up to everything that's happening. Um, the two player starter set was just trash. Like it was, it was literally like one card. And I think it was just uh, Zeus. It was like the only card worth having out of this. These MSRP for 20 bucks, they probably gonna be going for 10. I'm not even sure if this is out yet. Zeus is really holding this set up at $11. Okay, is this out? Yeah, so this is what, is today the official release date for this? I don't remember. 64 page comic? Okay. No, I don't remember. Uh, like when the release date was for this. But if it was today, um, the listings are ridiculously low. Like, is that indicative of just like the number of people who actually are opening this up? Cool Dragon, really? Eight listings from 295, market price 307. Um, that's weird. But no, outside of Zeus, there's like nothing in here. Literally nothing. Like the Visa Starfrost is common, is nice. The Elish, the Gold Lord, common is nice. Non foil is nice. I'm a proponent of non foils, but that touches very few people. You know, people who are a fan of non foils like that. And of course, I'm going to collect this set because I like getting complete sets of like starter and structure decks. But you know what I'm saying? I'm in the minority and something like that. But I'm going to wait for this to bottom out for sure. I'm going to wait for this to hit $10 when the MSRP is 20 This play is probably going to be going for like 80 bucks. How many come in the display? Are they doing this the same as regular structure deck 8 in the display? 10 in the display. So... A display should MSRP for 200 and it's already MSRP for 163 I said it's going to hit 80 Shit, it probably has the potential to hit even lower than that, even with Zeus in there. Yo, okay, Zeus, I thought was going to be in Rarity Collection 1. I'm calling him now. Zeus is going to be in Rarity Collection 2. Take that to the bank. Like I said, this is none of this is financial advice, guys. It's not a financial advising channel. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you guys how I look at these TCG markets. And that's just a, a call that I'm willing to make. I mean, with Appaloosa and, you know, IP, uh, alternate art making it in there. Zeus is a staple among staples. I'd be hard pressed not to see Zeus. Honestly, I'd be hard pressed not to see Triple Tactics thrust in there. I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for them to throw thrust in there to try to have this rare collection compete with the first one. But this is also a heck of an opportunity for them to fit commons in there, some non foils. Well, not commons, excuse me, for them to fit vanillas in there, some non effect monsters. Because I just don't, I don't see how you can make a collector set and not put vanilla monsters in there when Yu Gi Oh was built on vanilla monsters. It wasn't built on effect monsters. It was built on vanilla monsters. A monsters with flavor text. 
not effects. And of course, guys, we're still doing the giveaway. All you guys need to do to enter the giveaway for those three sword and shield base set packs, guys. Um, subscribe to the two TCG channel, guys. Um, like the stream, comment on the stream after it, when you want to become the video. Uh, what is one of your top 10 favorite lure windows, many cards, or many games? And put the name of the set beside the lure window in the comment, and you'll be entered to win those three sword and shield base set packs, guys, when you're talking about your passions again. Still extremely interested, you know, what lure windows. Um, the community is losing themselves in, in the nail. Like, what universes are you guys going to? What planes are you walking? Call on our shot in the two player starter said, A bonfire? A pretty to 10299. Maze of Millennia, booster boxes 86 to 89. I wonder if the booster packs are still around like four bucks. Uh, it says three, but when we looked into it and like somebody who had like a, a decent number of them, it was way up from three. Well, not way up from three, like I said, it was at four, but. Bonfire is definitely holding the set up. I think it's a bit inflated. That Jet Synchron collection here is kind of cool, even though it doesn't have the sparkle of like uh, a QCSR, like Revolution Synchron and Assault Synchron. We're about to go back. Transaction rollback is like right around the base price of what an ultra rare should be in the set, 32 bucks. Um, I know I was watching Team APS, uh, their podcast, and they were talking about when they were opening up their Mega Millennia booster boxes that they were consistently pulling like four ultra rares. And hold on, Daddy Duty. <laughs> I know where it was at. All oh, right, yeah, like I said, we was about to uh, take a deeper dive on those Synchron monsters. Um, 
a lot of things have been happening. There hasn't been a YCS in a minute. I wonder if they're going to do like the first one in February or something. I'm curious to see what people are playing. For some reason, I don't think it's going to be fire. But let's see. That junk scene crying QCSR continues to fall, continues to be ridiculously cheap. Okay, then outside of that, there's nothing else to look at here in Mesa, Mesa Millennia. I don't really want to look at any of these. I want to look at, well, nah, I don't think Crimson King has moved. We want to go um, Dueling Heroes. That's where we're going to go. Is that legit listing? No, nah, that, that, I don't think that Dark Magician is legit listing. It's probably closer to that 841 market price. 73 listings from 598, market price at 841. Sword Dragon, 113 listings from 693, market price 687. That's pretty dope that they've all fallen this far. Uh, the cases have rebounded, though. These cases went down to like 115, 120 bucks. Look at this. Yeah, they went down to 107, and they've rebounded $30. When was this? Okay, the beginning of December, this was around like Black Friday, the deals, they rebounded $40, though. That's that's somewhat impressive, um, considering like the promos have fallen. Let's go. Cash tier. Fin rear, 21 bucks. Reverse engineer this, go back into the mega pack. The 120 listings from 21 for Fenrir, the Baishu Rebellion, 110 listings from 1661. Jewel Swarm down. Garura up to $10 now. Strong. Strong, strong. Um, listings seem to be rebounding on a lot of these cards. Exosystem Michaela, 71 listings. After this set's been out for like four months. Everything else is 100 plus listings, though. The listings are rebounding extremely, extremely well. Um, keeping these prices down. Like I said, definitely, um, as opposed to looking at this, you will want to be pivoting, looking at original prints. Unless you're someone like me who is a proponent of like getting uh, archetypes uh, from the same set and in the same rarity. Like I said, I'm a huge proponent of that. There you can get quite a few. You can get Exo Consistor, Labyrinth, Magic Secret Rare, Dirt Cheap. Really nice. It's nice. But yeah, like I said, if you're going back to reverse engineer this, in my opinion, considering how cheap these cards really are. For the more expensive ones, uh, let's see. On the first page, we got. We can look at Blazing Cartesia. We can look at Therion King Regulus. We can look at. We can look at Muckraker. I don't really want to look at Illusion of Chaos right now. Let's see if we got anything on the second page. Uh, World Sea Dragons, Atlantis. That was okay. Psychic and Punisher. That's a nice one. That was like a twenty dollars secret. Um, and they got Master of Chaos now. Ninety nine listings from seventy nine cents. Market price ninety nine cents. Um, I, I want to say it's been around that price the whole time. But they're getting that Prismatic Secret upgrade. That's perfect sale with Tate going to sell games. Incredible. Same thing with this Tamias the United Dragon and the Magic Kalibo. They go hard for giving them Prismatic Secret, but they're giving Dictator a D Ultra. They go hard for that. Dictator a D does way more for Blue Eyes than Magic Kalibo or Tamias the United Dragon does for. Or Master of Chaos, for that matter, does for uh, uh, Dark Magician. Then it's over the hill with the Ultra Rare Dictator D. Unbelievable. Ultra Rare Ultimate Fusion. Unbelievable, Konami. All right, let's look at these, some, of the, some of these guys. Reverse Engineer, this all versions. Uh, okay, so you got 95 listings from $5. Mark price, $9.75. For original print blazing cartesia now and you can see it just steadily trucking right back on up how it normally goes near me first says they're starting at about six so you can still get a place at around 18 
considering market price is up nine, I tried to grab my original print sooner than later. Darkwing Blast, any movement here? Booster boxes are down, dare I say, 22 listings from 79.99. That seems down to me. The Bystro Lubellion is down 69 listings from $22, market price 27.32. Fenrir is really a $24 ultra rare steal. Sprite Spring doesn't have a reprint, uh, 66 listings from 11.95, market price 12.62. A bicycle jewel swarm is still a nine dollar super rare. Okay, World Sea Dragon Zeal Lantis 88 listings from four dollars market for six seven sixty five. It seems like it's more expensive now than it's ever been, even before than when it had its reprint. A uh, muckraker from the underworld seems like it's going back up. I want to say this fell down to like a two dollar card, like around that uh, December time frame. Uh, I think I opened up a separate tab for this as well. The world, yeah, it was two dollars fifty cents in November, December, and now it's back up to six bucks. A market price has it, but you can steal three fifty four plus ninety nine cents shipping, four fifty four fifty. Yikes! First place set is at four dollars and forty cents. It's about a fourteen dollar place set. Yeah, it's not. It's not a nine dollar place set. That's for sure. What do we call a $14 playset? That's a tier three playset. What was the playset between like 13 and $22? Tier three. It was a tier two playset though. And it fell back down to that. These little monetary games, man, they're everywhere. What else? Okay, this is not, that's the Dueling Heroes. Let's go back to Darkwing Blast. Are we missing anything back here? Mm. Ignis Phoenix is cheaper than ever. Outside of whatever didn't get reprinted in Darkling Blast, I don't think much here is, is being missed. The Blackling has got some prismatic secret upgrades. What do we got here? Therion King Regulus. This is a Dimension Force. We, uh, all versions version of the near disc. That's his original print. Okay, so this is a. Uh, he's uh, cheap, as cheap as he's ever been. He's around a 3 to $4 card for Therion King Regulus. Now is definitely the best time. To pick up your regular is fifteen dollar play sets from the same seller all the way through though, but still very powerful card. It does have a prismatic secret rare reprint. Wow, the Starlight Rare. This it has QCSR prices. Why we play first sets around 70? People trying to make a quick buck, 74 for Starlight Rare, Considerion King Regulus. Booster boxes for Dimension Force are 38.85, 40 bucks. Estimated base price for a Starlight Rare, one every 24 boxes, 40 times 24, 400, 800, 960. $960 is the estimated base price. What it will cost for you to pull any Starlight Rare at random. Their Yon King Regulus is at 70. As the collector from Noah would say, magnificent. I mean, must we? Must we do this? And then you got Magnifica at 100, Ghost Bell Haunted Mansion at 239, even though she got the QCSR now. Uh, did this get bought that? What, what, huh? Okay, because market price got it at what? 136? Uh, but it's as low as 239. I know the QCSR went up. Yeah, back one five, people were buying these for $130. So what happened? <laughs> What happened in 20 days that this would jump a hundred dollars? Did this get like spotlighted on a market watch or something? Did somebody say this was like a good pickup or something? Let's see. Power of the elements. We all the way back into 2022 right now. 
we are in 2022 in Power of the Elements. That's crazy. Power of the Elements does not seem like it was a 2022 set. Like, that's how long ago this was. But it doesn't feel that long ago. Ultimate Slayer, Starlight Rares, 51 listings from $90. Market price, 109 Is that like um, Fear of the uh, um, 25th Anniversary Rarity Collection 2? Destiny Hero, Destroyer, Phoenix, Enforcer. That came in here, Starlight? Okay, Konami. Like, what the hell? Again, the the reprinted Starlight Rare is a card that was printed in the era of Starlight Rare. If you were going to give it a Starlight Rare, why not give it a Starlight Rare in its own set, Konami? What the hell? Man, that's just disturbing. Corey Carr is way down, though. 89 listings from $20 a month plus 2432. Does this get announced for a reprint or something? Wow. Talk about dang Sprite Blue, 20 bucks. That's strong. Oh, yeah, the all the planets felt the wave of the 25th anniversary to Primeval Planet Paralino is down to $10. Ultimate Slayer is still holding 15 though, impressively, I must say. But this is awesome, man. What the hell? It's like twelve hundred dollars for the estimated base price of a Starlight Rare, and also the Earth Channeler is thirty dollars. What? There's eighty eight listings. Wow! For this to be one in twenty four boxes, for there to be eighty eight listings of this card, is kind of ins. Well, I'm okay. It's sixty eight first edition listings and twenty unlimited edition listings. So 68, that's not that many. But $30 is cheap. Like, I would place a bet because I can guarantee that this card is going to go up. But the time horizon on this is probably so far that you cannot even see it. Like, to be brutally honest. But it's guaranteed. It being $30, it's guaranteed. As Chuck would say, I guarantee <laughs> that this is going to appreciate in value. Hopefully, though, my guarantees have the opposite effect of Chuck. <laughs> um, oh, another 2022 set. <coughs> Ten of the Pharaoh's Gods. Uh, okay, it says out of stock. I think that's because of the filter. Let's clear this real quick. 16 listings. $111. This did not rebound. Um, like the 20, um, uh, what is it? The, the 10 Adoring Heroes, how that rebounded $40 from 107 to 147. The 2022 10 continued to fall. It's now at 112 for a case. The 2021 10, the last time I looked at that, it was like $80. $80 for a case of 12 tens for the 2021 cases. That's another guarantee that I feel like it's guaranteed to go up because it's a special set. It's a, it's a mega ten. I think it's extremely unique. They only do it once a year. Hold on. Yeah, the 2022 10 of the Feral Gods. You got Red Eyes Dark Dragoon and Diviner of the Hero holding the top slots around like $25 each, respectively. And then the alternate Arts of Dark Magician Girl, Blue Eyes White Dragon and Red Eyes Black Dragon, all sub 10. Uh, I'm only a proponent of the Dark Magician Girl, to be honest. Fight of Prosperity, seven bucks. Shit, seeing, looking at this set, 
made me curious about the super rares of the 25th anniversary rarity collection, the first one. Let's go to the second page real quick. Ghost Bell Haunted Mansion, 50 Cent, Small World, 40 Cent. Stardust, Stardust Illumination, a rare, of course. I'm here for the chest, of course. Okay, hold on, hold on. So let's rewind this real quick. All right, we're going to stop the uh, we're going to stop you know our scrutinization of Yu-Gi-Oh right there. We ain't looked at Pokemon in like two, three months. Okay, Temporal Forces is on pre-sale. That's all they got. So that must be a little bit out. Oh, damn, Fates. Is this the shiny set? Charizard? Yes. Woo, look at this. Black Charizard Terrestrial Eye. That's nice. I like that. That's a nice artwork. It being $150, it might be one. Woo, and alternate. All right, Pokemon Company. Alternate art, full art. Excuse me. Alternate colored, alternate art, full art, Gardevoir ES. Incredible. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That Pikachu is, is dope. I ain't even gonna lie, that Pikachu is dope. Clive? Who is Clive? Okay. That Entei is dope. The reason why Clive sticks out to me is because I'm playing Final Fantasy 16 right now, and that's the name of the main character, and that is Clive. And he's cool as shit. Okay, but right on the end, these are some unique looking cards. I kind of like these. This Chimpel EX, this Maraidon EX. Chimpel EX 49 listings from $20, market price $27.50. Maraidon EX 36 listings from $21.43, market price $26.09. Uh, Charmander, Charmeleon, Lucario. That's what I feel like the Shining Fates got wrong. Shining Fates focused all on Galar region Pokemon. In terms of the alternate art, I mean, in terms of the um, shiny, they didn't like reach back into the vault and give us a shiny Charmander or Squirtle or Bulbasaur or anything like that, or Totodile, Cyndaquil, or Chikorita, or a Torchic, Mudkip, or um, Trico, or we're going all the way up the ladder, Turtwig, um, Chimchar, Piplup, Tepig, Nivy, Oshawott. Brokey, Finnegan, Chestnut, Litten, Rowlet, Poplio. I mean, they didn't give us any of those. And then we get into the Gala region, and then there's, um, which they did give us, which should, should probably have some stand power. Um, Froppy. Score bunny. <coughs> and not thwacky, but grookey. Okay, gallery the names were kind of poopy. That video is yeah, dope. Valpoon, look how clean that looks. Oh my good. Look how clean the star me. Reaching back for us. The Klefki in here, alternate art. I mean, alternate colors. Okay, we're good. I see you. Raichu. Gardevoir EX again. Mew EX again. Spirit Tone. Snorlax. They got the gold Snorlax. That's why I like that Snorlax. It's cool. But that gold Snorlax, bruh. That thing is it's next level. They even gonna give us Jinx and Luxray up in here. Weavile. 
Scizor, Primate. Yo, the selection in here is really, really dope. On your and, okay, that armor rouge don't look alternate colored at all. Unless I just don't know the color of armor rouge. I thought like they did the same thing with Cerulean. Sabula. Scyther. And they're really making the colors pop too. No oh my goodness, this Noiburn. So clean. Yeah, this put shining face to, to shame in terms of the shiny selection. 275. Is the whole set, set shiny? You got some cheap ones back here for you collectors. Look at this. Voltorb. Oh, my goodness. Everything's like two bucks, though. Is this still pre-sale? Developer Mercro. They only had like 115 two and shining things. Only 115 of those cards are shining. Are these alternate, um, um, alternate color artworks, too? Okay, that's regular. Okay, so these EXs are regular um, colors. Okay, this might end the um, this might end the alternate colors right here. So it's probably still about one hundred and twenty-five alternate colors in this one as well. It's just their selection was way better. So Paradox Rift must be out right now. Looking at it, uh, Warring Moon is way down from when we looked at it. It was like $90, now it's at 70 Iron Valiant, it's still holding strong to 40. Um, I'm not particularly smitten with any of these lower windows. I do like this for first Professor Turo's scenario and the other professor too. I thought those were really cool. So yeah, in terms of sealed for what is this? Paradox Rift. We're looking at ninety two ninety nine for a booster box, so it's well under MSRP. MSRP one hundred and forty five. This is ninety two ninety nine, and then you have the Elite Trainer boxes. They're they're close to MSRP. MSRP is forty for these. So I mean, they're thirty two ninety seven as well as for the Iron Valiant market price thirty seven ninety five. And then thirty six ninety eight for the Roaring Moon thirty seven seventeen market price, um, so they're roughly forty bucks. But some of the coolest um, items to collect in terms of buying fuel for Pokemon it comes with the you know the unique dice for the set for the uh, ETB that you get. Unique um, dividers and a unique um, carriage box. So, some really cool items. But of course, guys, we can't be out here all day. Hopefully, I provided some value in this live stream. Mark a lot. Like, cast a rut. <laughs> Send me your energy so we can get that space gate charged up for a part two. It feels lovely out here. We ain't even you know, touch on the weather. But with that, we're going to be getting up out of here. Nimbus. Are we in there? Are we in there?
kuja wiene 